Ladies and gentlemen, this game is here again and I welcome you to World of Tanks patch 9.5 tank reviews. In today's episode we are going to take our first look at new British tier 10 tank destroyer FE 4005 stage 2. As always, at first we are going to look at specs, talking about strengths and weaknesses and in the end gameplay. Let's get going. As said, let's take a first look at specs. Side armor 50mm, traverse speed 32 degrees per second and weight 51.45 tons. So this vehicle is pretty big and pretty heavy. Rear armor 38mm, engine power 650 horsepower with top speed of 35 km per hour. Now this engine power combined with the weight doesn't leave me thinking that this guy has a really nice, uh, how to say, power to weight ratio. So slow acceleration maybe we'll see frontal armor 76 millimeters hit points 1850 well at least uh, jack from the 100 can't one shot you but other fe's can one shot you with his shields so yeah and that frontal armor well non-existent anyways with third armor it is easy 14 millimeters all around wheel range 390 meters Combined with optics or pinos, uh, it is getting up there, so view range is pretty decent, but <laughs> turret armor, even tier 1s, can penetrate you. Now the gun, the epic boomstick. They're using the same gun with 183, so 183mm L4 gun. Average uh, shells penetration with AP round 310, average damage 1150. Uh, if you're going to use Hesh ammunition, then your penetration is going to be 230 with 1750 average damage. DPM 2556. But there is a little twist about the gun because although they're using exactly the same gun with 183, 183 mm L4 gun, but uh, this guy's gun stats are a little bit better because uh, rate of fire 2 on 183, uh, 2.22 in here, accuracy. 0.02 better accuracy and aiming time 0.4 second better aiming time in here I guess this is thanks to the building structure or something like that uh, but uh, that said well I believe this is fair fair comparison to compare these two because 183 and FE 4005 are one of a kind tanks in the game and um, they're using the same gun I believe it is fair to compare these two now all in all, I have to say that I see no other reason except the gun uh, to choose FE 4005 over 183. This guy here is not going to bounce anything. Any HE shell is going to get through your turret and it is so huge and it is so easy to penetrate this turret. It is just ridiculous how easy it is. 14mm uh, turret armor all around. If I'm thinking about myself, uh, then if I'm going to see this tank on live server, I'm going to load HE shell automatically. Because as I see this tank, it is going to be just easy damage farming against this. He can't be Kabuyu simply because it doesn't have turret armor and uh, yeah, easy damage for me against this guy. Is it something I'm looking from one tank? No. So, I see no reason to grind for this tank if I have 183 already in my garage. So, just my personal opinion, but 183 is uh, 10 times better. Because 183 is 10 times better all around tank. Just for the fact, artillery can't one shot you. Well, it can, but uh, it is hard. <laughs> you have to be extremely lucky. But, uh, yeah, 183 can bounce stuff while dealing tons of damage. You have to be ex you have to play extremely carefully with FE 4005 and uh, I'm just not enjoying this kind of gameplay. So just my opinion, my my thoughts and uh, time to jump into one average game with this guy. Uh, games you are going to get in live server as well. So see you there.
And here we are on Live Oaks. Uh, if you're looking at matchmaking, then pretty nice match because only four new tanks. So actually this kind of matchmaking you're going to see on live server pretty frequently as well. And we can see how this is going to perform on live action. So yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, sadly, I have to say uh, on test server, let's say 90% of uh, players are going to use gold rounds exclusively but uh, trying with this tank it doesn't matter what kind of ammunition they are using because they are going to deal exactly the same amount of, amount of damage anyways because they are going to penetrate our huge box and it is just oh god how ridiculously high profile tanks thanks to that tank thanks to that uh, huge huge turret <coughs> But yes, they are going to deal uh, extra damage if they are going to use um, HU shells against us. But, uh, well, we just have to wait and see. SDB1 here, uh, he spotted me earlier, hopefully he forgot I'm here. And yes, he did. <laughs> uh, luckily we have object 704 on the left of, uh, on the left from us, if we can see that on the minimap. Who is uh, keeping that SDB1 spotted. Object is nicely behind the push, so working nicely. Uh, looking for a better shot against that SDB. A part on the corner of my eye, I see two FE 4005s. Hello, <laughs> look. Uh, just look at you, AP Ben. Nice. Actually, on live server, when I'm trying with 183, I'm uh, carrying more AP rounds because. Uh, Hesh rounds after the Hesh ammunition nerf is not so, how to say, trustworthy anymore because you're going to just splash damage, let's say 50% of time. You're going to splash damage then, Tim. Uh, but with AP rounds, uh, it is more consistent damage. Better penetrations, double C120. Come on. It should be auto pen against this guy even through the turret, but he was lucky. He was extremely lucky and the cost of missing that shot was actually pretty high. You see that in the end, uh, but uh, yeah, sadly. They're pushing through the city, city is in their hands right now. We have one DD in the city, but he's going to be dead soon. Versus two mediums with longer loading time, he has no chance. Object is here, my rear should be safe now, and goodbye, pretty easy shot. But guess what? Our object 704 just got one shot <laughs> by that FE 4005, the one who lived up on the hills here. And uh, clearly, we can see that he was using Hesh ammunition. 183, 310 penetration should be enough to penetrate that area over there and a nice damage roll as well. 1200 damage. So, so far all good. Sadly we are out of AP rounds. Yeah, I don't know why I'm carrying so little amount of AP rounds in here. That is my mistake. Usually 9 AP rounds and uh, 3 hash rounds should be enough. Luckily that 183. As you saw, who tracked us was using AP rounds as well, and he only tracked us because uh, using HE, uh, not HE, Hesh rounds, he would have splashed us as well. STB1, boom. Not too hard to penetrate paper tank with Hesh rounds. But this guy is here as well, Conway. Uh, he has uh, 100, not 100, uh, fully turning turret. We only have 75 degrees turning turret, or something like that. Not even 90 degrees turning, so yeah. Sad news, we are getting overrun over here, but uh, that double C 120, as I told you, he was super lucky that we missed that shot there. He was able to nail two shots into us, uh, but we got a little revenge, as you can see, we killed that 183 the moment we died. Uh, but uh, double C 120 D, let's say around 800 damage to us. But let's see what did we get from the battle. We actually won the battle, so Master Brad's Ace Tanker, Spotter, <laughs> surprisingly, 
So FE4005 OP Scout. Some other ribbons as well. 1675 experience with 70,000 credits. 5385 damage done, 3 kills and 1117 experience. I can see a little bit better experience with FE 4005 than 183 because with this damage, this amount of kills on 183 you're not going to get 1100 XP. 183's XP got nerfed pretty hardcore. Uh, so yeah, pretty average damage game actually. Pretty decent game I would say. It is going to be twice as hard to deal that amount of damage with uh, this tank than in 183, in my opinion. Just my wild guess. 7 shots, fire, direct hits, 6 penetrations, 6. Well, this is the ratio you're going to see uh, most often the time. Uh, as I said, 310 penetration is going to be enough more often than not. So, using AP round is the way to go, in my opinion. But, well, yeah, there is always option to use other stuff. Uh, all in all, pretty decent game. Something you're going to get on live server as well. So, just to show you that um, it is, simply put, weaker 183 in my eyes. Nothing special. Now, is it worth the grind? The main question. Well, yes and no. No, because if I have 183 already in my cross, as said, I don't want to get weaker 183 as well. Yes, uh, because the tank grind itself is going to be super fun, super awesome. 183's tech tree is filled with slow, heavily armored, with huge weak spots tanks. And I hate that. In here, you are going to get super awesome tanks. Challenger, Charioteer, FE 4004 Conway, Achilles, Archer, whatever, you name it. Uh, 10 times more fun than grinding 183 stack 3. Uh, reviews about all the other tanks, Tier 8, Charioteer, Tier 9, FE 4004 Conway, Challenger, Achilles, all reviews are coming up on this channel as well, so stay tuned. The grind is going to be nice, but um, the grind just for the FE4005 uh, stage 2 is not worth in my eyes. Yeah, my opinion, comment section below is the place for your opinions. Leave me feedback, what you think about the review, what you think about this tank. I got you in my next review, I got you in my next videos. Thumbs up if you enjoyed, thumbs down if you didn't. Take care, guys. Bye.